So here we have the package from 40 Winks that I backed a while ago. In fact, it was over a year ago, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I just got back from, uh, from traveling for a while and I forgot I even backed it. So here it is. I've opened it and looked at it, but I have not opened the game yet. So let's see if we can do this. Now, I got the... I like the the like super backed one. It was like maybe eighty dollars, and then as things as they broke their their reach, um, they hit more goals. They uh, gave more things. Now this is pretty cool. This is the uh, soundtrack, which I have not yet listened to, um, but here it is. Awesome. I think this is actually the cover art, if I'm not mistaken, and I think there might be two different types of cover art. Um, here's the game we'll look at last. This is cool. Here's a plushie, which, um, I don't know the character's name. And I've also never played the game. I know it came out for PlayStation. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I remember them saying that they might not have wanted to have done the plushie because it was pretty bad quality. And, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty bad quality. I'll be the first to admit. Like, look at the, look at his nose. It's like... I don't even know if he's supposed to be sideways or if they just messed that up. It's cool to have as a collector, but I don't know. I would not recommend uh, buying that off of anyone. Now this is the thing I actually forgot, um, which I was really excited to see. Now also, I think the build quality of this is pretty bad, but one, I don't think it's gonna be terrible. I have not tried it yet. I will try it when I uh, test the game out. And two, it's just also as a collector. I mean, this is cool to have. Now, the controller's pretty sick. If you look at it. It looks different. It looks super third party. Let's see if we can look at this. I don't know. I wouldn't uh, boast and brag about the... Uh, the build quality of that by any means, but um, that is pretty cool. I'm glad that I have it, it's another controller. Um, now, would have I paid $80 just for the game? Probably not, but for all of this, I think it's pretty cool. So here is the game itself. So I was right, it does have this cover. I don't know if it's like a more limited edition one or what, um, but 40 Winks by Pico Interactive, which is, uh, They've done a bunch of other games too. I think they're actually working out a couple kinks with uh, some some other games that they're doing for N64. Um, and here's the back. All right. Well, let me open it and we'll look at it. All right. So I opened it and uh, I I need to check to see if I got like the limited edition cart. But this is this is sick. I I need to take this out. Let's see. Can I do it with one hand? Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cool has a pog and a sticker, I think. The black cart. Wow. So quality like, um, I mean, it, it looks super like repro, though it is repro, so I really have no complaints about that. It's cool that it's like official, uh, I guess like a, not officially licensed by Nintendo, but you know, a new game in and of itself. That's pretty sick. I don't know what I actually think about. I, I think this new artwork is, you know, it's cool. That there's more stuff going on. I think the colors are, I want to say that they're trying to have some like artistic style with that color scheme. But at the same time, I think it's just like faded. Um, This is a card. I hope it's more than just a card. Oh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but <laughs> that was some type of number. I'll have to use that. Here's the instruction manual. Fully colored too, if I'm not mistaken. Sweet, I'll have to look at that more. And then here's a poster. So, here's a poster, just the, uh, the old cover and then the new one. Uh, what do I think of everything? I mean, for 80 bucks, I think it's a fair price if you are a collector. I don't think if you're just someone with an N64, you'd pick this up. It's a pretty niche market. Um, but I would say it's worth it. And I haven't played the game yet, so I'm interested. I've never played it at all. So I'll have to get back to you guys on that. But um, 
I mean, to open up a new N64 game in 2019, I mean, that is something, that's what dreams are made of. So, well, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully uh, you got to see what it's like to open one of these because uh, it's not cheap. And trying to get it resell uh, like from resellers on eBay, I see it going for well over 150 twice the asking price of a retail price. So hopefully you guys like that, and uh, I'll hit you up with uh, what I think of the gameplay.